Somewhere else near the Dark Ocean Avenue. It's uh, a, a, a photo from uh, the Jack uh, campaign party. You know, the, the night when uh, Jazz was murdered. Why would Marty, Roberto, and the Kamesh be all huddled together? I'd say that's a real unholy trinity, wouldn't you, detective? Wait a minute, where, where's Lindy? Who cares? So, maybe we should ask her again. Whatever. She knew at what time we were leaving. She's not here. We should just take off. All right. Let's go. Dylan? Dylan? I was in the back checking out the champagne room. I got a big, big client coming in tonight. Oh, yeah? Who? Some wacko bastard. Calls himself the doctor. Anyways, he's gonna be doing a little operating tonight. I have been completely unfair to you. Yeah, I don't even expect you to believe me when I say that. What? That I love you, I love you, but, but this is why I've decided we have got to break this off. Yeah, put me down for 50 uh, on Jetstar Streaker in the fourth. Uh, yeah, okay, I gotta go, Mom. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Look what Davey found in the morgue. Jeez, uh, Crystal, now you're letting the kid do your legwork for you? Yes, and he's doing a very good job. I think you should give him a raise. <clears throat> oh, this doesn't prove anything. So Marty, Jamie, and Roberto all turned up for Jack's last campaign hoo-ha before the election. And Jack was homesick with food poisoning on the same night Jazz got off. Look, we can speculate until the cows come home. Uh-huh. So why are all three musketeers huddled in a powwow? And what if Jack didn't have food poisoning and he was with Jazz? Look, I need facts. This is completely speculative, Crystal. <sighs> Harry, this isn't rocket science. Everything shows that they were all in this together. Since when is that a crime? Oh, so you don't think it would be kind of embarrassing right before the election for Jazz to put the screws on Jack, you know, marry me or else kind of thing? <laughs> so he kills her? And it gets covered up with a little help from his nearest and dearest. I mean, Harry, that is a very unlikely trio. Okay, but still, that doesn't spell a capital crime. Not yet. I don't know who did what, but guaranteed they are all in it together. Yeah, that's what I said, just keep me updated. No, no, I, I, we gotta move on this now. Uh-huh. Okay, well get back to me. Okay.
Look, this is not what I want either, Thomas, but I really, I, I don't know what else to do at this point. I... It's real simple, Sage, I told you. Leave Macy. This is the point. It is not that simple. Right, because you have to help Lucas bring him down. That's such a bunch of bull. This is so your typical response. You know, you are not the only one with responsibility here. Sage, to you. you don't owe the Devons anything, okay? Why can you not just trust me on this one? Because I've been down that road before. Fine, but I guess you leave me no choice. No, Sage, you do have a choice. It's the same one you always had. I am through playing games here, and I will not sneak around anymore. You got that? The ball's in your court now. Slow down, gorgeous. You might hurt someone. Do you mind? Not at all. So I see you decided to ditch the Ghostbusters. Good choice. Now while they're out chugging around doing the whole mystery machine thing, me and you can spend some quality time together. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but like I said, psychos aren't my thing. Really? So why aren't you out with your old boy toy Dylan and his crack of champions, huh? Louis Vuitton and Steve Madden don't exactly shout hiking. Hmm. <laughs> I get it. Get what? They ditched you. <laughs> For your information, they did not ditch me. You ditched them? Right. Like, I believe that. You did really good, Marco. His new girl sounds prime. Hey, you said keep my eyes open. Ladies in from out of town, needs a bunch. Used to work out of an agency in LA. Oh, she's hot, right? Hey, she's sweetest. What more do you want? Hey, maybe after the dock is finished, we can uh, sample the smorgasbord, huh? I never mix business with pleasure. That's a rule of mine. You're a smart man. Catch you later. Hey, it's all set up for tonight. You're right. The ball is in my court, Thomas. I've given it a lot of thought. I don't think I want to hear that. Well, you're going to have to. OK, the truth is, I don't want to leave Macy now. You don't want to? What the hell does that mean? Thomas, I have told you this before. I have worked my ass off to get Jazzy up and running. It's finally turning a decent profit. OK, I have made a name for myself in the South Beach scene. I am really proud of what I've accomplished here. So you're putting a lousy club before us? No. But that club has been my life for the past five years. Why am I going to get up and leave it when it's going to be mine in a few months, huh? And, and then that's, that's why you refuse to leave Macy? Kidding me? That and helping Lucas, I promised him I would. I think he'll understand. I don't want him to understand. But you want me to. Oh, look, this is even better than I thought. You know what, I, uh, I don't know what else to say. You know, I'm getting the message loud and clear. I got it the first time and allowed myself to get sucked back in, but no more. I know you don't believe me, but I never stop loving you. You're right. I don't believe it. Why don't you just be honest with yourself, Sage? You've never been able to determine what you wanted more in life. Me or being Mrs. Macy Devon? Well, I guess Macy's a lucky guy, huh? Like they ditched me. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah? Well, I do. Yeah, but you also think you're attractive. So what? True. But in case you haven't noticed, gorgeous, you're not really getting a lot of votes for prom queen these days. What's that supposed to mean? Well, let's just say that compared to whatever else you have going on right now, you should be thinking I look pretty good. <laughs> yeah, right. The only way I'll ever think you look good is if you tear my eyes out. That can be arranged. If this is about the money you think I owe you, I don't owe you No, anything. no, 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 no. I think that you want me. Okay. 
I know you owe me. And don't you worry. Uncle Raider's got many different ways you can pay him back. With interest. I'd rather drink battery acid. Speaking of drinking, I'm throwing a little party a little later on. Some mixing, some mingling. Good time will be had by all. Make sure you stop by. You're right. That wasn't a request. Harry, I'm going to stop by the police station on the way home, see if I can dig up something on the jazz case. Well, check with our source in the archives. There should be a file. I was counting on that unless someone made it disappear. Hmm. Your guy's been pretty quiet lately. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Ever since the Alice in Wonderland chess set, he told me to concentrate on jazz. Maybe he's waiting for me to make a move. Yeah, well, maybe he's using you to get info. It's like he feeds you all he knows and then he watches you run with it. I wish I could put it all together. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to figure it out, too. Like I said, it's a stretch. Harry, there is a big picture. And even Patterson figured it out. Yeah, and he ended up getting killed? Yeah, maybe he got too close to nailing. Which means that Summer doesn't want that to happen. Deep Throat does. Remember, he left me the same message he left Lucas under the sea? Harry, he knows. Maybe he just can't prove what he knows. Excuse me, Miss Tate. I'm Crystal Tate, can I help you? Um, my name is Arlette Jones. Could we talk for a minute? In private? Vincent just told me about the accident. It's terrible. I know, we lost the whole day's shoot. I meant about Lucas. He said he spent the whole night in the hospital. Oh my. Listen, the little sissy got a cut on his forehead and he insisted on spending the entire night in observation, okay? It was really no big deal. Well, from what I heard, he could have been killed. Well, Hadley, you can't believe everything you hear, can you? You think maybe somebody did it on purpose? Now, why would somebody do that? I don't know, maybe he was in someone's way or something. <laughs> You, um, you wouldn't be suggesting that I had something to do with my little brother's latest mishap, would you? Because if that's where you were going with that, I would have to strongly reconsider my opinion of you. And go from thinking that you are one smart little cookie to one stupid little chick. So which is it? Why would anyone think you were involved? Excuse me. They wouldn't, unless, of course, they were comparing notes with Sage. What, do you think I'm tacky? Good answer. You know, the more time I spend with you, Hadley, the more I'm beginning to think that you have all the makings of a perfect Devon consort. Hmm. I kind of like consorting. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what they say. Do what you love. Or who, mm -hmm. as the case may be. I better get out of here before I get us both in trouble. Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Well, it isn't Starbucks, but it ain't the worst coffee on the block either. Thanks. It's nice being served for a change. I'm calling over the main squeeze down at the beach. Oh, where all the kids go? Yeah, I feel like a glorified babysitter most of the time. I bet. I'm not really good about beating around the bush, and I'm guessing that you're not either. No, I like to get right to the point, but I don't want to rush you either. You're not. I know you talked to my son, Marco. Yeah, I ran into him at the PD, and we had a nice little chat. About his father. It came up. I don't know any nice way to say this. So I'm just gonna say it. And I hope you won't judge me badly. Well, that all depends. 
Miss Tate, stay the hell out of my family's business. My husband's been dead for six years, so let him rest in peace. <laughs> All right, thought this Haddon's cabin thing wasn't supposed to be farther than Hollow Point. Well, it's not like this cabin is a historical landmark, Dylan. I mean, we don't even know if it exists. Yeah, well, while Bill said that there were abandoned cabins all over the swamp, all right? Great, that means that there's one of them has to be Haddon's. Yeah, and how are we gonna know which one it is? It's not like this guy left a pair of underwear behind with his name stitched onto it. What if we walk into this cabin and he's still living there? I don't think so. Because that would make him, like, what, over 100 years old? Yeah, well, good point. Well, Mr. Ryan said that there are some people that think that Haddon is still out there, like tearing the swamp, looking for Abby. Yeah, and I assume a guy like that doesn't put out a welcome mat either. So what? Are we going to, like, accidentally run into this guy while he's cooking dinner? OK. But what if we walked in? And we became dinner. <gasps> what if, what if the only way he could survive was by sucking blood out of young virgins? <gasps> God, you guys are so <laughs> funny. Maybe we should stop filming this documentary and just film you two doing your little stand-up routine instead. Uh. Did you guys hear that? Hear what? I don't know. Was it a metallic scratching? someone sharpening their axe, hmm? Or was it more like a low rumble? Like somebody struggling to breathe? <laughs> the hell was that? Where do, you, where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. I'm just gonna check this out. Ah! <laughs> hey, that wasn't funny, man. You should have seen your face, man. <laughs> where the hell were you, T? We were waiting for you for over an hour at Hollow Point. I saw something creeping in the woods and decided to follow. What was it? I know y'all probably think I'm crazy, but uh, could have sworn it was a girl. Hadley. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Hadley. I have eyes. I saw you with Macy. You're just helping me out with my portfolio. Really? I didn't realize Macy gave her advice. I don't know what your problem is. Apparently, you're the one with the problem, darling. Especially if you think Macy's a quick fix for Lucas. Yeah. How dare you say that? Macy happens to be out for Macy. Don't let him sweet talk you, please. You'll be sorry if you do. Did I just hear you threaten me, Sage? I'm not the one you have to worry about. You know what? He's been just helping me through this whole thing, and I'm actually seeing a whole new side of him. Hmm. I'm sure you are. I hate to burst your little bubble here, but there is no other side to Macy. He happens to be pure evil. I don't believe that for a second, Sage. No, you wouldn't, would you? But don't say I didn't warn you. I guess you get what you deserve, huh? We're gonna have some fun in the bayou. Too bad my new little trick ain't here, because tonight would be a perfect night for a little treat. Man, are you still talking about that kid? Hey, something tells me that kid is about to become a woman. Yeah, whatever, man. No matter what, that girl's always gonna be second class. What, like you got something better? <laughs> you bet your ass I do. Who? I got Maddox. <laughs> yeah, right, Lindy? She'd rather get with that snaggletooth kid in wood shop than get with you. Come on. We'll see about that. Besides, man, didn't she run off with Dylan to go work on a stupid project? No. Matter of fact, she stuck around here to rage with us. I figured tonight I'm gonna show her a good time. How do you plan on doing that? You know me. I always got a few tricks up my sleeve. Besides, bro. This girl's been loving me for a long time. 
Tonight, I'll make her a millennium. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. Detective Marco Jones, uh, can I help you with something? Yes, actually, you can. You can brief me on the stakeout. Stakeout? Tonight at the dollhouse. Wait, uh, you're not. Detective John and Marston, NYPD Special Investigative Unit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're expecting me? I was expecting somebody. <laughs> uh, I, um, I bet you get this reaction a lot, huh? Actually, no. Most of the people look at me as one of the guys. <laughs> one of the guys? Yeah, right, okay. Um, I guess New York and Miami are a lot different than I figured. I'm very interested in this case, which is why I asked to come down on loan. Yeah, you're working on the serial killer case in New York, right? Yeah, it was closed and reopened when the press got on the mayor's case about it. I guess you know Tom O'Keefe then, huh? I know of him, but uh, we actually never worked together. The thing is, our murder stopped when yours started. Do you think there's a connection? Well, so far, the only one is Tom O'Keefe. In that starts into Ocean Avenue. And I don't want my son Marco mixed up in this. It's how it started with Oliver. What do you mean? Him having a soft spot for jazz. She was that type with men, you know? Got him to help her out. So that's what Oliver did. He helped her out. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, we are going to be getting another new big account. And you lost Bella, and you lost Ecstasy. Following's a lot like baseball. It's one, two, three, and you're out at the old ball game. Hey, those eyes are much too pretty to be filled with tears. Come on, give me a smile. Just a little one. <laughs> 